It used to be the case that in the Labour Party, particularly in the Blair years, no one would say we're a socialist party. Now everybody says we're a socialist party. Uh, That's a good thing. But there's very few people as yet saying, and by the way, that entails replacing capitalism. Would you be comfortable saying that? Well, I describe myself as a moral socialist. Mm -hmm. um, and what I mean by that is that uh, I profoundly believe that if we're to get out of the difficulties we're in, we've got um, gross inequality, we've got to take radical action. The, the theory that um, if you leave the market al alone, wealth will trickle down it is a busted myth. If that were the case, we wouldn't have the inequality we've got. And I don't just mean wealth and income. Um, as you'll know, health inequality yeah. has gone through the roof. Age um, expectancy, life expectancy has gone down in some parts of 21st century Britain. And there can be 10, 14 years life expectancy yeah. difference between different areas. If you're going to deal with that, you've got to do pretty fundamental things. And I think we've got to have the courage to say the economic system, the free market economic system is busted. It needs to be replaced with a new economic system where model, where government sets the direction or sets the framework. I actually think good businesses would work with that. Mm -hmm. You know, look at the, the key, or some of the key problems in our economy. Short-term investment for quick returns is killing our economy. So you need long-term investment. Poor conditions, poor pay, insecure work is killing our economy. And we're destroying the environment in the way we run the economy. Well, the government's got to do something about that. I think we've got to have the courage to say the economic system, the free market economic system is busted. It needs to be replaced with a new economic system where model where government sets the direction or sets the framework. 